Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Good morning. It is 616. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota. A live view of our KX Cam and Dickinson showing what most of us are waking up to, just mostly clear skies and a beautiful sunrise out there today. Now, we do have a few uh, isolated sprinkles on the radar, most of that probably not even hitting the ground, but we do have uh, back towards the northwest a chance for some showers that are heading in our direction that will move through this uh, afternoon for some folks off towards the west. I'll show you that here uh, on a, a forecast in just a second, but temperatures this morning are in the 30s and 40s. We're at 41 in Dickinson, 48 there in Garrison. We have dropped to the upper 20s in the Turtle Mountains. That's our cold spot this morning. These winds are mostly going to stay out of the northwest this afternoon. They'll increase just a bit, 10 to 15, maybe some gusts up to 20 and 25, uh, but they are very light this morning and from the west and northwest. Now today we are looking at another warm day. We do have some isolated sprinkles, but we're going to keep it mostly sunny, increasing shower chances tonight, and they become much more widespread on Thursday. We even carry that slight chance for rain on Friday, but highs today are uh, probably not as warm as yesterday, but still very comfortable. A lot of 60s and 70s. Some of the areas that missed out on some of that warming off towards the east will see the 60s today. Uh, certainly going to see above average temperatures this, this afternoon. But then we also have a chance for some showers in the west. Again, what you saw on the radar is heading in our direction. That will bring us a few showers for especially parts of western North Dakota. We really increase the shower chances late tonight and into tomorrow. Isolated at first and then a little more widespread through the morning on Thursday. So for Thursday, for a great part of the day, a lot of folks will stay dry for central North Dakota until you get into the afternoon hours. Then we start pulling in the shower activity and possibly seeing some non-severe thunderstorms at this point. You got the, the daytime heating, that spurs that convection. That's something that we could be seeing not just bright sat Thursday, but into Friday. That's a possibility there as well. Keeping that chance for just some scattered showers on Friday. And in terms of how much rain you could see, well, maybe about a trace to a tenth of an inch on Thursday, possibly slightly more, maybe be a couple of tenths of an inch in some isolated locations. Then we add Friday, and I think the best chance for our higher numbers will be in the southern half of the state between the two days. So a lot of us getting a chance at some scattered showers and even some that may make you bring out that umbrella. But temperatures tomorrow are going to cool just a little bit, upper 50s to low 60s. A very comfortable day out there. And then we're going to keep the similar forecast there for Thursday, or for Friday rather. Here's your Dickinson three-day outlook, and we're looking at overnight lows staying pretty warm in the 30s and the 40s. Here's the forecast for Williston. Uh, more of the same, looking to uh, cool a bit to uh, Thursday and Friday to around 60 and keeping our overnight lows above freezing. Over the next seven days, we do have that warm forecast and several chances for some showers. We really begin our active pattern late tonight into early Thursday, and that extends into perhaps Saturday. A very small chance here uh, to see some scattered showers on Saturday. I don't think it's going to be a washout. Here's the forecast for Bismarck again. Uh, 50s and 60s there for Saturday and then also heading into next week. Back to those mid-60s. So we are in the warmer territory here where even our overnight lows are staying above freezing. But of course, when the growing season begins, which is here, uh, I think technically considered in very soon by the Weather Service, we'll probably start seeing more frost advisories issued when we start seeing things green up a little bit. Well, interesting. I'm looking forward to the green. I know yesterday was just a sign and a reminder to me that my family is not meant for the south because uh, my Ayla was just complaining about how hot it was. And Asen <laughs> just does not tolerate the heat, and neither does Aaron. So I'm like, boy, we're in trouble for this summer when they can't say, tolerate 70s. It's gonna be a I long agree. Summer. I agree with them, Alicia. Uh, yeah. Do you? I do. Yeah, I like the guy. I'll take the cold over that that southern heat any any day. All right, thank you. Keep it with us here on Good Day Dakota.